In this video, I put some practice questions for you to review on ASVAB electronics. What does the following image represent? So what does this image on the right represent? Could it be a transistor, diode, ground, or inductor? So the given symbol here represents an earth ground which is used for zero potential reference and electric shock protection. So the answer here is ground. What does the following image represent? So what does um, this image on the right represent? The given image represents a diode. So what is a diode? A diode is a two-terminal electrical equipment which conducts electrical current in one direction only. So this is what a diode looks like. So the answer here is this one. A microwave is consuming 800 watts power using a standard North American 120 volts power supply. What is the approximate amount of current flowing. All right, we're given here um, the power which is the value of the power which is equivalent to 800 watts and then the voltage which is 120 volts and then we are asked for the amount of current. The formula for finding electrical power is power equals voltage voltage times current or P equals V times I. Then we can just derive um, how to solve current from here. So current is just equal to power over voltage. And then now we can plug in the given values. Power is just equal to 800 watts. And then the voltage is 120 volts. And then we divide this, we would get 6.67 or approximately 7 amperes. Right. Um, ampere is the unit of current. So the answer is this one. What is the voltage in a circuit with 10 amperes of current and 6 ohms of resistance? All right. Um, by using the formula, voltage equals current times resistance. And we're given here the value of the current, which is 10 amperes and the value of the resistance which is 6 ohms. We just have to plug in all the values here. 10 amperes times 6 ohms. Then uh, that would be 60 volts. The answer is this one. How would you connect 8 um, 15 volts 25 amperes batteries to achieve a combined power output of 15 volts 200 amperes? So connecting the 8 batteries in series multiplies the voltage while keeping their current the same yielding a 120 volts 25 amperes configuration. So connecting the 8 batteries in parallel multiplies their current while keeping the voltage the same yielding to 15 volts um, 200 amperes so the answer here is parallel so we can connect um, those eight batteries in 15 volts 25 amperes in parallel connection
A circuit with a 120 volt power supply is protected by a 10 amp uh, circuit breaker. What is the largest number of watts loads on this circuit can safely use? So in this problem, we are asked for the wattage. So the wattage is current uh, multiplied by the voltage. So watts um, equals current I times the voltage V. So that would be 120 times 10 or 10 times 120. So the maximum amount of power a 120 volt circuit with a 10 ampere circuit breaker would allow is equal to 1200 watts. Well, this is just P power. So the answer is this one. In electrical wiring, which of the following are proportional? Um, the length of the wire and the amount of the current, the length of the wire and the, the amount of the voltage, the diameter of the wire and the amount of the current, or the diameter of the wire and the amount of voltage. So the, the answer here is the diameter of the wire and the amount of the current. So they are proportional. So as the diameter of the wire increases, the amount of the current that can flow through, it also increases. Because a larger diameter wire has a larger cross-sectional area, which allows more electrons to flow through it. If two different resistors are connected in series, then which of the following statements is correct regarding the electrical power consumed by the resistors? So the answer here is, all right, this one. The resistor offering larger resistance will consume more electrical power. Alright, if two resistors are connected in series, then the current flowing through each resistor is the same because the current remains the same in a series. So the formula for finding electrical power, which is P equals um, V times I voltage times current. And from Ohm's law, we know that voltage equals IR, current times resistance which implies that current is just equal to the voltage over the resistance. So putting the value of I in the formula of electrical power here, this will give us P equals R times I squared. So as the current, as current is the same through both resistors, then electrical power is directly proportional to the resistance such that the bigger the resistance the higher will be the power consumed and the other way around or vice versa a capacitor blocks direct current hence it is also known as all right, it is also known as both blocking and coupling capacitors. So a blocking capacitor is also called the coupling capacitor. It is used to block the passage of flow of direct current, DC, from one circuit to another by giving alternative passage to flow.
An engineer who wants to document an electric circuit would create which of the following? The answer here is a schematic. All right. An engineer who wants to document an electric circuit would create a schematic. So a schematic is a graphical representation of an electric circuit that uses standardized symbols to depict the components and connections within the circuit and it provides a clear and concise representation of the circuit's structure and functionality and schematics are widely used in electrical engineering to document and communicate circuit designs.